And uh, how about um, compared to ozone therapy, for instance? Are there similarities there? Ozone as a biological agent, it's usually injected or inserted into the body through any route except through the lungs. Okay, then the ozone goes into solution in the plasma. But when the ozone separates, you end up with that oxy oxygen singleton, which serves as a superoxide that drives oxidation. All right, so if you've got a virus in the blood and it runs into an ozone molecule, then the ozone or the oxygen will neutralize the virus. So like in terms of autohemotherapy, et cetera, uh, what you'll find is that the ozone is usually used as an immunological activator by virtue of its oxidative potential. Now for LIVO2, you know, we got a protocol which we call flu O2, and that's a different mechanism. Okay, so you're, when you get a flu, your energy goes from one to about one half. Then after it goes to one half, what happens is that, you know, over the next three weeks or something, it will gradually go back to one. Okay. Now here, like, for example, if you happen to say, oh, gee, I'm getting the flu, you drop to half, all right, after you get the flu. And then you train on LIVO2 for 15 minutes and you measure your energy production. Guess what it goes to? Well, back where it was before. No, it goes to 1.3. Wow. That's then you wait great. four days. Okay, four days later, after your immune system spun up, it's actually at a full two. Meaning, wow. while your body is active with the oxygen, the oxygen ends up driving or enabling the immune system to run in overdrive. So, what happens is, you know, if you train on LIVO2, which the last thing in the world you want to do when you, your body tells you you want to do when you're sick, is I do not want to get on that damn thing and work out. But if you get on it, by the time your foot hits the floor, you feel ridiculously better. You know you still got the infection, but for the most part, your energy is back to more than normal. Okay, and over the next you know several days, as the immune system kicks up, what happens is that you know you're basically running at twice energy. You still feel normal, but all that extra energy is available to drive the immune system. It's not overdriving the immune system. It's letting the immune system have as much energy as it needs to do the job it needs to do. Ozone activates the immune system by oxidative damage. So if you got some sort of bloodborne infection or other, then it will stimulate the repair process. But it's the difference between, you know, a stimulation and a turbocharger. Livo2, that systemic turbocharger that lets your body ramp up the energy production, do whatever it needs to do. It might be run a race. It might be, you know, kick a flu or something like that. But just having that energetic reserve is what enables you to remain vital